Hi guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. Oh my gosh, it's been a while, but I'm back guys. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card. And I've got three piles for you guys to choose from. Alright, we're going to choose from pile one. And this is your charm. Surprisingly, when I was shuffling and picking these cards and charms, I was shocked when this charm came out that matches this card. So we'll see what these message, uh, card messages have for you guys. And the charms, you can choose from the charms or just by the decks, whichever you're drawn to. All right. And yeah, you guys will have the timestamps below. Might be in the comment section or in the dis description bar, but it will be there for you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome back to all my subscribers my new subscribers hi my name is georgia and we're gonna jump right into reading i can't wait i'm super excited super excited hello power one so you have the follow your heart charm okay so you guys are meant to be following your heart maybe for june july maybe for the summer maybe this season you're meant to follow your heart maybe this is your current mood or the person you're thinking about who knows but we're gonna find out today all right we have some messages from different piles different decks i should say and we also have some personal messages all right i think i'm gonna leave these till the end we're gonna jump right into the language of flowers we picked some cards from those we also picked some cards from my new pal it's the keepers of the light we also have some cards from my other pile um i can't remember the name of this yes the fairy <laughs> the oracles of the fairies okay so i really love these two decks and the little decks these are the language of the flowers decks they're so cute i love these little piles of cards they're so so cute and handy so so nice for me to shuffle as you guys know i told you guys my hands are quite small but i really like these small cards but we got some cards today for you guys and we're just going to give you some messages all right pile one so first off i'll just start talking as i see it might as well we have divination all right Divination says embrace your powers of divination, which are easily strong right now. So most of you guys are really in tuned. You are tapping into divination. You see the lady there, she's got candles. She's got this like, like crystal ball. She's got crystals. There's a fire like she's manifesting things. She's got her oracle cards or tarot cards as well. Maybe you are somebody just like, <laughs> maybe you're also a tarot reader or tarot um you know psychic or somebody just tapping into the intuition and just in love with divination you know it says you have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity good good power one i love that so next we have hidden depths something hidden is about to come to light perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind when we expose what's hidden we become free right so there's some hidden something hidden all right we're gonna find out what's hidden we're gonna find out we have ox for help angels or celestial beings we protect everyone and the fairies say now it is time for you to ask for angelic assistance all right ask for help there's nothing wrong with doing that and because you're also tapping into divination i can see you guys are trying to find out some hidden truths you well yeah you're tapping into things you want to know certain things maybe that's why you're watching this reading right now all right so you're asking for help you're trying to find out some things about something in your life and we're going to tap into it and see as well what you're trying to find out all right we have the inner child card next and the fairies of playfulness 
remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun and stay safe, okay? Be safe. <laughs> it's time for you to get playful again, right? Um, it's maybe you're a bit, being a bit too serious <laughs> about certain things, all right? You're just saying, okay? Maybe it's time for you to just let your hair down and just go out and have some fun, whichever way that could be for you right now. Not most, most of us can't really do much right now, so do what you can just to have a little bit of fun. All right, just tap into that inner child. We have two more cards here for you guys. We have Master Buddha. Wow. So we have increased awareness, which comes with the divination, isn't it? Because we were talking about you're tapping into that. You're getting clarity, and now you have increased awareness. You've been aware of a lot of things. It says deep connection and trust your inner voice. Trust your intuition, guys. Time to do that. Your intuition is super strong right now. And next we have awakening presence. You're awakening. You're going through awakening right now, spiritual awakening. You might not know that, but you are. and Or you're coming up to. All right. And it's saying that the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. I love these cards. So beautiful. Let me go back a bit. So we have Elmora. And it's awakening presence and a cr increase awareness by Master Buddha. You guys are super, super powerful and intuitive. And you just need to tap into that right now. You are, wow, you are awakening a lot. So because you have the follow your heart charm and the follow your heart on top of the pile, we're going to see what messages come through. Okay, guys? So we have follow your heart. Some of you guys are meant to be following your heart. It could be romantic, all right? It could be just intuition. Follow that inner voice as the cards have been saying, all right? Also, it could be following the divination. It could be following your, what career path you want to take. It could be whatever that's making you feel good right now, whatever you're desiring, whatever change that's coming up. I feel that something's changing for you guys. And because you're going through an awakening, you guys are having different things that you're falling in love with. All right. So I'm feeling that as well. Oh, so we have twin flame. All right. So you guys probably are awakening to your twin flame. You're probably going through that kind of spiritual awakening right now. And you want to find out if this is what it is. So yes, you are. For some of you guys, meeting your twin flame or in tune with your twin flame right now. Okay, you're tapping into that energy. Next, we have build your confidence. I hope you guys can see. Build your confidence. So now it's time for you to build your self confidence. Build your self confidence because now it's time for you. Because you're going through that self or increased awareness, you're going to be tapping into so much things. You're going to be building your self confidence, your self awareness. As the card was saying here. All right, you're going to be probably getting more playful with things, playing around with your crystals. Maybe that's what's going to make you feel more playful and joyful, happiness in your life. And also, you're going to awaken in presence. It says the universe is with you as well. So you're going to be getting more confident in everything that you're learning and doing right now. Your self-confidence is going to get stronger and stronger as you tap into your intuition and grow stronger and stronger by following your heart, okay? You can do this. Yes, you can. Okay, part one. You definitely can do this. Spirit, universe is trying to tell you they're pushing you forward to following your heart, to tap into the things that you are interested in doing right now. It's telling you to follow your intuition. You can do it. Take control of your finance issues. So whatever issues you have, some of you guys could be financial or just romantic, but financial issues are coming up so they want you to know that it's time for you now to take control of those issues whatever issues you have with finance just take control whichever way you can all right you can do it the cards are saying you can do this everything you can do it all right change is coming what did i say i said there was a change because I told you guys you're going through an awakening you're going through something you're going through a transition 
and I knew that the cards are gonna come up. For some reason, I don't look at these cards until I'm talking to you guys, okay? I shuffle them and I put them down until I start recording. But change is coming, which is really, really good. I love that. Happiness is a choice, so choose to be happy. Definitely, definitely, all right? It is a choice. So if you're not feeling happy right now or successful or whatever that's on your mind, that's probably stopping you, you know, making you have doubts and not making you follow your heart right now, or maybe you're following your heart but you're still not happy about certain things, now it's telling you that happiness is a choice, so choose that, okay? Choose things that's going to make you happy. Choose to be happy. Okay, so we have a message here. I hate lying to you. I don't know who this is coming from. Could be the twin flame. For some of you guys, this is coming up. Somebody or something is going on that you might feel like people are lying to you or somebody might be lying to you and they're telling you that they don't like lying to you, okay? We will see what that is about. Abundance is on the way. Definitely with the change card and the transitioning, the awakening, I think and I know, you know, there's good abundance on the way for you guys so keep believing in your intuition whatever you're trying to manifest with that card with that woman trying to manifest everything with a fire and her crystals and stuff you are manifesting abundance and it's coming so your finance issues and problems are going to be solved no problems revitalize and recharge now it's time to do that especially with the inner child now it's time for you to revitalize and recharge yourself your soul's in need of it, okay? You need to just go out and do things that you love and things that's going to make you happy. Things that's going to recharge you and make you feel alive again, okay? Stop worrying about anything that's not making you happy. And we have the travel card here. Yeah, some of you guys are going to be traveling overseas. Not might not be far away, but you're going to be traveling somewhere. And it's just saying there's progress ahead. And this could be also with the changes coming card. Some of you guys might be on the way to different things. You're manifesting traveling. You're manifesting going places. This could be also for some of you guys um, pertaining to your twin flame. You might be on the way to meet your twin flame. Or they might be on the way to meet you. Something of that sort. But traveling is coming up for you guys. And we have new opportunity on the way. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love this. So new opportunity, change is coming, traveling overseas, some progress is happening, definitely it is on the way for you guys, I love it, Cloud One. Whatever you're manifesting is happening, just believe in that. And it says time to plan your future, look at this, time for you to go ahead and start planning. If you're not doing that already, now it's time for you to go ahead and plan your journals, get your journals out of me, plan your day to day or your future, okay, it's telling you to plan your future. I've got a video as well, I'm going to try and link it below for you guys where you can manifest anything by scripting, journaling and stuff like that, easy ways to start doing that if you haven't started already, so you guys can go ahead and do that, there's many videos on YouTube you guys can do or try out to start your planning for your future because it's necessarily needed right now for you guys, alright power one, that's all your messages today. But with the line, I hate lying to you card, I want to get a confirmation for this why is that here. I don't know if you're lying to yourself that you can't reach these goals or someone's lying to you about something. But we want some confirmation spirit about I hate lying to you card. What's going on? We have something about somebody so this could be pertaining to you guys twin flame so there's somebody that's tall over six foot and handsome all right this person could be the person that's saying that they hate lying to you okay this could mean just for some of you guys in this pile to take it as it resonates so they are tall over six foot handsome all right next we have <laughs> wow so this person thinks you have, or maybe they're thinking of your lips and your hips. I'm getting, they are thinking about something. Maybe they're lying to you that they're not, they're lying to you about 
about your I'm getting something to do with how you're looking maybe they're not expressing how they're feeling to you right now and I think this is something that some of you guys want to find out this person is really in, in love with your lips and your hips okay they're thinking about it's something that they find really attractive about you one of the things they really 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 love about your face and your body is you just have this really really nice full lips and hips okay um but i'm getting that you know for you guys you wanted to know so this is who the person is so you guys might know who this person is tall dark well i don't know why i'm saying dark <laughs> but tall and handsome okay and lastly we have this person is an aquarius so yeah, they're feeling like they they hate lying to you and they just want to say that, okay, they just want that message to come through for some of you guys and they, I think this is either your star sign or their star sign, they just want you to know that they are, they hate lying to you, okay. So that is it guys, Pi one thank you so much for watching, I hope this resonated with you guys and I'm glad that this little message came out for some of you guys. Let me know if it resonated with you and I'll see you guys in the next file or next video. <laughs> Bye guys, take care. For Pi one we have Adaptation. Strength, assertiveness, hmm. and lastly, power. Wow, great cards for you guys. Pile one, I love it. I love the language of flowers messages. So you guys can definitely, you know, tap into that's the messages, that's your little divination messages for you guys, affirmation messages. Hello pal 2, we got the aim high charm for you guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Your message here is to aim high, are you guys aiming high? If you are, congratulations, you guys are doing well, it is here, alright? You chose this charm for a reason okay so I must congratulate you guys so we also have the decks different decks okay I have my message pile and you probably chose this message it says I don't know what to say All right then we have my cards from the language of flowers and we also have some different cards right from different piles we're gonna jump right into this pile I think I'll start off with this pile which is a keepers of the light we have faith you guys right now are meant to have faith okay in humanity benevolence it says stay calm and trust the good in yourself and others see the light in the world oh my gosh this is so relevant right now some of you guys probably feeling what's going on in the world right now it's probably getting you down it's probably making you feel a lot of different emotions and moods and you just don't know what to do and feel and it's the spirit and universe is just telling you to have faith in humanity to stay calm and trust in yourself and others to see the light in the world again all right there's good things about to come. Change is happening, definitely, in the world. Lady Venus, downloads and understanding is happening for you guys. Definitely. This is amazing. You guys need it, okay? Because you might be feeling a bit drained or down right now. And just know that you're getting downloads, all right? You're getting a lot of understanding right now. Trust or truth, I should say, is being revealed to you. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm okay you are being oh my gosh you're just on a good journey right now i'm hearing that you are learning so much and you just need to rest and stay calm don't worry about anything everything's been handled for you right we're gonna jump right into this magical gateway look at that it says it's time it takes courage sorry it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown Yet, this is where the greatest rewards are. 
it's time to step boldly forward without looking back. You guys are, you have the key to something, you're moving forward. You're learning a lot of things. When you get these downloads, you're getting a lot of understanding right now. And it's time for you to take courage and venture into something. Maybe you're thinking about doing something and you're feeling unsure about doing it right now. You know, maybe towards humanity, maybe towards other people, maybe helping out people right now. Maybe that's on your mind. You want to help out people. And Spirit is telling you, even though that there's a lot going on right now, you need to stay calm. Just know that what you you want to venture into and what you want to do, you need to take courage and do that when the time is right. Right? You have the key and the knowledge to do that. When you do get your downloads and understanding, we have celebration says get ready to let your hair down and celebrate it's time to go out and dance and party go out to dance and party an invitation could be on the way for you okay guys Ooh, where are you guys off to it's good because now you can get to go out after the lockdown we can get to go out a little bit now and it's good that you guys can get to go out and do something to celebrate let your hair down you know, you've been feeling the strain of the universe on your back. You guys are really, really probably empathic people, spiritual people I'm getting, right? I'm hearing that you guys take on things a lot and you just want to help. But now, with the celebration card, you're going to have something to celebrate about. You're going to have an invitation to something. Some of you guys are going to get to go out and shake a leg or two, okay? Wish wisely. Use your wishes. To manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true definitely you guys are again with the magical gateway in this card something you're manifesting and wanting to do will happen right just keep manifesting your heart's desire and take little steps to do it as spirit is telling you right now just to stay calm think about what you need to do before you do it because you already have the key and the knowledge to do that right it's coming to you slowly but surely okay you're taking small steps towards whatever you're wishing for and now we have protect your dreams lastly it says you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they stay safe in your care remember that okay so whatever you're dreaming you're desiring protect them write them down keep them close to you manifest them because they are going to happen they are going to come true for you so keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Good. All right. All these messages are coming out for you, pal, too. I hope you guys are taking note of them because something great is coming. You download and reveal everything that you need to know. Just keep aware of your downloads, all right? So we're going to jump right into these cards to find out what messages we can get from them for you as well. Right? Next. Next. So... <laughs> Remember the card you was drawn to? I don't know what to say. That was the card you probably was drawn to or the charm which was telling you to aim high. Which we already found out, found out here. You guys are aiming high. You guys are tapping into a lot of different things. Especially your intuition. But what or who? What's going on here? <laughs> what's happening? Who doesn't know what to say? We're going to find out. Take the lead comes next. You're meant to take the lead, all right? You're, you need to take the lead, whatever you're desiring and dreaming, whatever you're, you're wanting. Aha, uh -huh, it comes up. Remember before. So now it's time for you to take the lead, but also take a little step back and just stay calm first, all right? Just slow down a little bit with everything that you're thinking about. But it's also time for some of you guys to take the lead. We have crossroads ahead decisions are to be made okay you guys have some decisions to be made decisions 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 so maybe this is time for you to take the lead maybe that's why the take the lead card is here for you guys as well all right there's some decisions you have to make right now pertaining to what you're desiring and wanting to do we are connected Yes, you are connected to the world. You're connected to everybody. I believe that's why the cards are saying that as well. You are, you know, you, you just need to have faith. You're feeling the strain of humanity right now. And, you know, you are connected with everyone. Just know that. So send out good energy to people. Instead of worrying, some of you guys 
or worrying and it's just like you have powerful energy i'm hearing so you guys can actually send out good energy into the universe okay and everybody will actually start healing if we all do that we will all have great great abundance all right healing abundance so you are connected we are all connected and this also can mean for some of you guys a romantic situation with the I don't know what to say you, you probably are I don't think it's more a romantic situation yet because with the I don't know what to say it could just mean that you don't know what to say about what you're desiring what you want to do right now when it comes to humanity you don't know what to say because you don't know how to express yourself with how you're feeling and your emotions okay okay so now we get into more information we have so sorry to push you away maybe you are pushing somebody away or maybe somebody else got pushed away but this is what spirit is telling you that um they are yeah somebody's feeling sorry for pushing you away for some reason and this is what's coming up so we will see what's happening what's happening with this so sorry card we have i care so much about you all right so now we're getting more information about the i don't know what to say this could mean that somebody caring cares so much about you they don't know what to say they feel sorry for pushing you away they feel very connected to you your love and everything like that and they just want to come forward i believe this is probably the decision that you guys have to make also when it comes to taking the lead as well all right so I want a family with you all right so now we have more information all right somebody wants to start a family with you they think highly of you they want to take care of you they care much about you I should say all right and they feel sorry that they're pushing you away because they really feel like they want to start a family with you so next we have the time it is not right so this is the decisions and this is a crossroad some of you guys are at right now. You want to know if the timing is right. This person telling you they feel sorry that they have to push you away. They feel sorry to push you away because the timing is not right right now. You guys are connected. Okay, and they do want to have a family with you. But for some of you guys, the timing is not right right now. And they do care so much about you guys. But yeah, they're feeling they're feeling sorry. Okay. They're saying I will wait for you though. Okay, no matter how long it will take, I think that this person will wait or they maybe you will wait for them. Okay, they care for you so much. The timing is not right, but they're willing to wait. Next we have, I want to work things out. Yeah, so this is definitely a romantic situation for some of you guys. You have somebody that don't know what to say to you. They don't know how to express that they can't be with you right now. Then they're feeling sorry that they're pushing you away. But they just want you to know that they really think highly of you. They want a family for you. And they want to work things out with you. Okay. They think and care for you so much. And it's just making them feel sad. And lastly, for you guys, we have unconditional love. So they're feeling unconditional love for you. They want to be with you. And no matter how far away you guys are or how, you know, how long you've been apart, you know, they will always have unconditional love for you. And that is, is better than any sort of love as well you know apart from self-love that is but yeah they do have unconditional love for you okay so no matter how long it would take the timing you know divine timing is everything but the timing is not right for them right now and they're willing to wait because you know at the end of the day you guys are connected and you guys have unconditional love all right for pal two some of you guys have a romantic situation here and i think that other than that, you guys are just, you know, you're just waiting and a lot of things are just on your shoulders right now. You're going, you're thinking so much about humanity. You need to have faith in your relationship. You need to have faith in the universe and others. Just know that everything is connected. We all are connected. And even if you're not with somebody, you're worried about something or somebody right now or the world. Just know that you can send out good messages, good vibes into the universe, you know. Pray, keep wishing and having your dreams and desires and everything will come forward. Just remember to keep planning and keep following your intuition. Okay? But just remember that 
this person for some of you guys they really think highly of you they're sorry to push you away but they just want you to know the timing is not right and they do love you connected to you and they just think that they have unconditional love for you all the time so no matter what they'll always be with you around you and you just need to have faith in that okay to stay calm pile to you nothing is going to happen unless you want it to all right and because you have the aim high charm you guys just need to keep aiming high no matter what all right the decisions are there to be made yet yeah, across roads just keep aiming high right now all right keep aiming high wish wisely and have faith all right, five two. This was a good reading for you. I'm really happy that you guys have this reading, and this person just come forward to talk to you guys as well. So I hope you guys like this reading, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Before I go, I forgot about you guys. <laughs> Language of the flowers cards for part two. So we have protection. Okay, I'm gonna be doing this at the end. So you guys. Can see we have protection for you guys enthusiasm resignation oh some 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 of you guys are saying goodbye to something okay what you no longer need good good and lastly peace yes be calm and <laughs> See, it's time to stay calm and calm will come to you definitely with pile two definitely resonate with you guys cards so yeah, that was your language of flowers meshes guys so I'm just lighting my palo santo and cleansing the air again hello pile three So I had a need to do that, so might as well do it, right? So we have your messages. We're going to be doing that lastly, your affirmation messages. We also have your chimes, which says never, never, ever give up. Never, never give up. Okay, part three. If you guys can see that. We have your messages now. We're going to jump right in precious time 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 there's a lot of clocks around her she's got things looking she's searching for something what's she looking for it's just to be mindful now not to waste time or other people's time okay it says make your time make precious time it's all about time your time is precious right now okay whatever you're doing with your time Make sure that you're choosing wisely whatever you're doing with it. Okay. Whatever you're tapping into, whatever you want to find out. Fairy spotting. So it's time to go fairy spotting. It said that seeing is believing you're looking for something again. Yes. You've been searching with your time. Maybe you had a lot of time in your hands. You've been trying to learn something, you know, doing some different things while we was in lockdown or quarantine. Okay, we have journey, yes, so you've been on a journey. And maybe you guys also chose with this card here, we have daughter romance. Maybe you were looking for something. Could it be love? Could it be... Oh, maybe you're on a journey to love. We just dropped that card. <laughs> you're on a journey. It says it's time to prepare for a journey. Okay, part three. Yes, it's maybe impromptu or planned, whichever way. Okay, make sure you're ready. This card is telling you to pack your passports, okay? Time to jump into action because you're on a journey. You've been looking, you know, there's been time on your hands. You've been trying to spot things, searching for things. Maybe you've been searching where to go on holiday. Maybe it could be that. Maybe you're searching for your partner. You found your partner. You're planning to go forward. Lost and found. Okay, what was lost once is about to be found. Okay, thanks. To the fairies the lost and found fairies helping you guys okay they can help you all right they could help you find things that were never even lost so probably you thought you lost the love of your life or something like that maybe you're looking for the love of your life all right and now it's time for you to know that this journey okay is on the way 
what was lost is found or gonna be found this is why her poppy have the never give up as well not probably because nothing is a coincidence so yeah you've been on a journey you've been looking and you wasn't giving up and this is the motivation that you had that's been driving you okay we have next the cloak of wisdom it says you already know the answer that you seek wow 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 i am so finished i just love tarot okay we're gonna go back to precious time and the fairy spotting all right you're seeking something as i told you she had the little she's looking with that little i don't know if you guys can see she has that little binoculars there she's looking and there's a lot of clocks around her she's waiting for that precious time that divine time waiting for the time for that love the door to a romance she's waiting for the love she's spotting things she's looking for something all right and now the cards are telling you cloak of wisdom i hope i say his name like to me saying you already have the answer that you seek trust what you already know you you already have that answer within you okay you already have the answer you seek so what was lost will be found because you already have the answer you've been looking for okay next magic manifesting with isis here your dreams visions and goals are becoming a reality stay focused i love this especially the binoculars you have to stay focused keep focusing on what you want keep manifesting your dreams your vision or goals are just around the corner guys okay you have magic manifesting you're on the journey to something great this is amazing all right never never give up because you're onto something great beautiful all right we have door to romance mm, i love romance who doesn't all right let's see what's going on with your romance what's happening with it somebody says i'm tired of waiting all my days the time, precious time, came up for a reason because you guys are tired of waiting. Could be you or somebody else, but I feel it's you guys. Tired of waiting, looking at the clock, looking through binoculars, looking out the window. You're just waiting and sitting there wondering when. It could be the time, the quarantine time. It could be any time, all right? You're just looking at all the time. <laughs> you just want to, you're just tired of it. Tired of waiting now. You just want to open that door to romance and just run out. You are going through a transition. Oh my, I'm getting tingles and shivers and everything. I love this. You're going through a transition because you're on that journey. You've been waiting the precious time. You've been, as I told you, you've been looking for something. With that precious time, you ain't been wasting that time. Okay, and that means you've been on a journey. You've been going through the transition. Okay, guys, don't worry about it. You're tired of waiting because it was not in vain. It was not in vain, okay? Just know you've been going through a transition. Now we have time to move on. Yes, it's time to move on for probably what was making you feel certain ways, right? Thinking, you know, that nothing's going to happen for you. You've been looking and waiting and searching with that precious time that you had. But know that you're on a journey. Now it's time for you to move on and you're moving on to something better, Okay? Now is the time for you to move on. Change your perspective. Yes, now it's time to change your perspective. Change how you're looking at things. As I was saying, you're probably looking at things the wrong way. Now it's time for you to focus on what you want. As the card was saying, stay focused on what you want. As Isis said, and they always say, you, you, know, you already have all the answers you seek. I'm mumbling, stumbling over my words, sorry. Because I want to get all the <laughs> message out. Um. Yes, you guys have to stay focused. You know, you have already been looking. Already you had that precious time in your hands. You, you, you already have all the answers inside you that you seek. So change your perspective knowing that everything's going to be okay. All right? Now it's time for you to open your heart. Exactly. Look at this. The door to romance. Romance. There's a little door and the heart open your heart i just love it open the door to your heart guys open the door to your heart okay there's love coming don't you worry change your perspective on love change your perspective on how love is going to come towards you you might be looking and searching in the wrong places now my voice is going funny <clears throat> yeah you might be looking in the wrong places and thinking oh it's not gonna come but don't worry you know that it's coming for you 
Aquarius, sick of waiting for love, but it will come in divine and precious time. I'm hearing for you guys. All right, now it says time to connect with your highest self. Definitely, you are going through a transition. You know, you are going on a, through a journey. It could be an awakening journey, self-love journey. But now it's time for you to connect with your higher self. It's needed right now. It's definitely, definitely needed. So you guys have some work to do when opening your heart, going through this journey. You guys are going to definitely feel better. Yes, you are strong. You guys are definitely strong. No matter what you think, you are going through the journey. And even though you're tired of waiting, tired of looking, change your perspective on things. Just know that you are strong. Okay, part three. When you connect with your higher self as well, you definitely feel stronger as time goes by. Struggling struggling with emotions. So some of you guys have been struggling with your emotions. Definitely with the tide of waiting card here, I can see that you guys have been going through waiting, looking at the time as I was saying. I'm confused about things, not sure about what to do. And you've been struggling with your emotions. But please change your perspective again right time for you to focus on something good knowing that good is coming to you guys connect with your higher self know that you're strong you can get over anything shine your light now it's time to shine your light the journey is here for you to do that when you connect with your higher self when you know that you're strong and change your perspective on things this is like the sun card now it's time to shine your light in the world shine your light in this romantic situation Love yourself again, okay? And that will attract love, okay? <clears throat> and lastly, we have do what you love. This is the time for you guys to do that. This is time for you guys to tap into self-love, self-confidence, all right? You are strong enough to do that. When you shine your light and doing what you love and tap into the beauty of this journey that you're on, this journey that you're going through, it's so beautiful. You're going to love it. Okay, you're going to be doing what you love and you're going to be, be be in love. Okay, you are on the road on a journey to romance and you're going to end up doing what you love. All right, I definitely believe that with the never, never give up card there and your other affirmation messages before we go. Fortitude it says be brave and dig deep. Definitely. Fortitude, never give up. Next, security. Security, definitely. Rejuvenation, definitely needed for you. You're tired of waiting, all right? You need to shine your light, rejuvenate, reawaken, and stand stronger. Yes, you are strong. You did get this. You are a strong card. And lastly, we have breathe. Just breathe. Breathe, okay? Change your perspective. Calm, rest, stop, and just be. Okay, part three, just be. You're on a journey and you just have to just let things just be, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope all these messages resonate with you guys. I really know it did because I really get a lot of tingles, shivers, and confirmations today that I know that all these cards are meant for somebody out there. If it did, please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and yeah. Please comment below as well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, stay safe and I'll see you soon.